So today I have for you guys a Dollar Tree haul. You know the Dollar Tree is my favorite subject. Hey everybody, it shall be with a chick plus three. So not only do I have a haul today to share, but last week I hauled an item that I got a lot of comments on, people wanting to know if I tried it out, how it worked. So I did that and I'm going to share that too. So as you can see, or here, <laughs> we had a lot to cover. So I think we should get going. So what do you say? Let's go. So before we get to the haul, why don't we get straight to the product that I tried that a lot of you wondered about. Little hint. Any guesses? Now I'm really making myself vulnerable out here because it is my eyebrows. So I don't know. Do I look like I'm in a constant state of surprise? Too dark? Too light? My eyebrows are naturally light because my hair is natural like ash blonde. So I hauled for you guys this Ioni Perfect Brow Kit. Now I got to tell you a couple of things that I was a little bit surprised about. Where it said perfect brow, I was assuming it came with everything that I needed. And so am I glad that I had picked up the brush separately because this kit does not come with a brush and there is no way I'm going to show you in a second to use this product without the brush. So you want the Ioni um, eyebrow brush that has the spoolie on one end and this little angled brush on the other. Now the other thing, so see big box, this is the size of the kit here and the downfall of this is that it doesn't stay closed. No little Velcro tab, no magnet. So to store it in your makeup, I'm afraid that's going to get all messed up. So I've been putting it back in its box. But this is what it looks like here. So you have the four little pots and what they tell you to do is using the spoolie use the wax first and you put that on your brows and then you use this angled bit here and you pick one of the shades so I went with this one that I thought looked a little bit lighter and just brushed it onto my brows now I have to say in the past when I have tried eyebrow makeup I've used like pencils or little like liquid markery looking things and I've never really had great success. So I gotta tell you, I mean, I don't know what you think, but I liked the ease of the powder. I liked how it was able to blend. And so after you had the color how you wanted it, you used this lighter one right here, this pot, and you just painted some of that um, like underneath your eyebrow to kind of highlight the arch of it. So in any case, that's what I did. It's this little Ioni product here. It is called Perfect Brow. So my Dollar Tree still has this available. You do need the brush too though, so you're paying $2.50 to have all the pieces that you need. But I don't know. You know, be kind, guys, but what do you think of my eyebrows? Does it, you know, is it a thumbs up? Is it a thumbs down? But um, I'm not positive, but at first use, I'm kind of thinking that I like it. All right, now, the first item that is new that I picked up that I want to share for you today, since we're on the subject of Ioni, is this. I grabbed another brush, and this is the eyeshadow flat blending brush. So I have to say, again, my first experience with Ioni is this complete brow kit, but I'm really liking the quality of the brush. So when I saw that they had the eyeshadow flat blending brush also still available today, 
I picked that one up too because I think it's well worth the $1.25. All right, now this next item I grabbed, I have never seen this before. It's by Luxury. It's hydrogen peroxide. Now I have found hydrogen peroxide at the Dollar Tree in the past, but never in a spray. So I thought that that was really nice because for a couple of reasons, if you do that bleach tie dyeing uh, process on t-shirts to stop the bleach from um, like continuing to remove the color after you spray the shirt with the bleach, you have to neutralize it and so you have to spray it with hydrogen peroxide. So this is ready to go or of course if you have a cut or an injury um, that you don't want to be rubbing with a cotton you know, ball or pad with hydrogen peroxide that way, you can just uh, spray it on it to clean it up. So I thought this was a good deal. All right, now this next thing I grabbed, I had shown this in a walkthrough last week. I didn't pick it up and one of you told me that it actually is a really good product. So when I went back today, they had another box of it and I grabbed it. And it is this Dairy Pure 2% Reduced Fat Milk. It's a product of the USA. You get 32 fluid ounces in here and the expiration date is the end of August this year so I will be able to put this away in my pantry and it will be my emergency stash of milk to get me through um, the winter and the winter storms. All right, this next thing I was so excited to find because look at this, Pringles. Now the Dollar Tree has been carrying Pringles, but they've been carrying like the half can size. And this is full size. Now it does say limited time only. The flavor is Melty Pub Cheese. I am a cheese addict besides being a Dollar Tree addict. And so I was so excited to find this item. I cannot wait to try this. Now, if you're into gardening, I'm telling you guys, do not discount the products at the Dollar Tree. My husband, Bill, went into Lowe's the other day because he had to repot some plants that have grown out of their pots. And, you know, when I heard he did that, I was like, I can't believe you didn't wait for me to go to the Dollar Tree because you can't beat the prices. So, you know, what was done was done. But on this trip, I grabbed him this. Look at this beautiful pot. It has a, like, stone finish. So, obviously, it's plastic but it just has a nice stone finish look to it. They did have it in another color, so um, just says planter on the bottom, but I mean, for $1.25, you cannot beat the price of this. Now, Valentine's Day is fast approaching, and I love to use holiday-themed napkins for everyday use. So I just grabbed these. Um, I didn't have this print, and I liked how it's a little twine with the heart um, just like clothes pinned to it there. You get 18 napkins in here, so I thought, you know what, why not? For fun, everyday use, we'll use these for the first two weeks of February. Another great staple product to get at the Dollar Tree, in my opinion, is the toothpaste. So I grabbed this today. This is the Colgate Sparkling White. And I bet you can guess why I picked this one out. Because yes, you know how I love my bonus packaging. And 60% more. So this is a great size tube at 4 ounces. And it is cinnamon. Cinnamon. So I thought that that flavor sounds just fine. I was really excited. Name brand. I always need toothpaste, so I picked that up. Now, of course, it's not a trip to the Dollar Tree <laughs> without checking out the Crafters Square aisle. And just look at how darling this package of stickers are. You get 12 pieces in here, 
and look at the little barbecue, the little camping scenes. I mean, I just thought that that was really sweet. I'm not sure my favorite is maybe the little pair of sneakers, but I don't know, the little pizza slice comes in a close second. There's even a little shish kebab there to go along with the grill. So I just thought that those were really fun stickers, just as I adore these. This is a travel set and 10 pieces in this by Crafters Square. It has the Statue of Liberty, of course, in New York uh, City, and then it has the double-decker bus, so that could be Montreal, right, or London, um, the Yellow Cab for New York also. So I just thought that was a fun little travel mixture and nice to just do some scrapbooking with or make some cards, decorate friend mail packages. So as you see, it came home with me. Now the next item I picked up, I had shown these in a walkthrough too because you get a whopping 50 pieces of these stickers. It's a roll of reward stickers. So here, let's open it up so that we can get a better look. And this would definitely be something that you could donate to a uh, classroom. Uh, all kinds of situations, though, where you can use reward stickers. They just don't have to be for little kids. So let me give you a look here of what they look like. I did ruin one, sadly, trying to untape it. So now I have 49, but that's okay. Really cute designs there. So how fun is that? Look at the little robot saying, wow, and the kitties. Perfect. So just really sweet. Um, I don't know who doesn't like stickers. Just because it says reward stickers, I think these will be perfect to use in planners. Again, friend mail, 50 stickers. That's all the designs you get in this roll. They did have other options to choose from, but good deal in my opinion. Another good deal that I bring home on, I would say every trip just about, are these shortbread cookies. I love these things. They're global brands. My husband loves them too. What I really like is that you get four little individually wrapped packages of these. Now the best buy date on these is August 17th. 2023. So you have like a year and a half almost to use these. Um, if I did not mention, this is a product of India, but these little shortbread cookies mwah, are so delicious. Is I needed some button cell batteries. So these are the E-Circuit Lithium, Lithium, that's how you say it, I guess batteries. So these are a Greenbrier product. They're made in China. So I will see how they work. Um, best before 6, 2024, which I didn't even see that. So I'm glad that, you know, they haven't already gone by. But I thought I'll try those and see how they work. For $1.25, for two of them, I was willing to take the gamble. Of course, we have more viewer friend photos to share right now. It's open to everybody. Send me your photos too. I will include my email here. And if you send me pictures, I'll share yours in an upcoming video too. And remember guys, as always, until tomorrow, please be well.